Oh, hey, Olympia Brown, Dr. Goggins here again, just writing a quick note to my friend, Ms. Feltz. Um, do you guys want to know what it says? I'll read it to you. Dear Ms. Feltz, I hope you are doing well. I have been busy reading books, attending Google Hangouts, and making fun videos. What have you been up to? Also, I wanted to tell you, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Thanks for all you do to work with the wonderful teachers here at Olympia Brown. All I have to do now is put it in an envelope and send it in the mail. I'm here and checking my mail. I got a package and um, it looks like I got something from Dr. G. Hmm. Let's take a look. It's so exciting to get mail these days. Oh, cute. All right. Dear Miss Feltz, I hope you are doing well. I've been busy reading books, attending Google Hangouts, and making fun videos. What have you been up to? Also, I wanted to tell you happy Teacher Appreciation Week. That's so nice. Thanks for teaching all the teachers, Dr. Goggins. Oh my goodness, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this kindness boomerang going and I will send out a little letter to um, all the teachers of Olympia Brown. So, okay. How do I start this letter? Can you guys see? Um, I'm going to start with a greeting and I want to say, hello, amazing teachers. Comma. Okay. I want to thank them for all their hard work this year. They're just so fabulous. Um, thank you for everything that you have been doing this year to support the students and their families. Hmm. Um, you have been creating excellent lesson plans, taking time to meet with your students, and you've been very busy answering questions. Pretty much, you guys are amazing. Thanks for all your hard efforts. Um, hmm, what should I do for my closing? I think I'll say, take care, stay healthy, and get some sunshine. Love, Mrs. Kelly. Okay, so time to mail this. Don't forget, if you want to mail something to your friends, to your teachers, or to anyone this week, because this week your um, job is to send something in the mail, if you can. Um, you have to put who it is from. That's the return address. You have to say who it's going to. I'm sending mine to O'Brown teachers, and I'll have to send it right to the building itself. So you have to put the address here. I'll look that up in a minute. And you would have to put on a stamp. So for this week's writing assignment, you can um, write something and send it in the mail. You can send an email. You can contact someone else. But your challenge is to do um, letter writing. And let's check over how Dr. Goggins did it. So you need a greeting. You need a body. You need a closing. And you should be all set for your letter. Thanks, guys.